Hello, my name is Jack Donnelly. And I'm Levi Underwood. And welcome back to the second and last episode of The Sage. Today, we'll be covering the pop concert, Econ Stock Market Game, AAPI Month, and the Senior Trip. Hey Jack, have you ever been to a concert before? No, never. Well that sucks. Then you should have gone to our Bobcats pop concert last Friday. Oh, uh, well that's okay. Thankfully I can just watch this upcoming recap from Bella and Juliet. Last Friday, Sage Creek's music program held their one night only pops concert at 7pm in the PAC. Guests could arrive as early as 6pm to support the music program through their food fundraiser, which included a Dole Whip and Dripping Kitchen food truck. The Pops Concert gets its name from pop culture, as many of the performances include music from mainstream films and video games. In the first half of the show, chamber ensembles performed 16 individual numbers, including the Monsters Inc. theme song, James Bond theme song, and Hooked on a Feeling by Blue Swede. The concert ended with a full orchestra playing pieces from Pirates of the Caribbean, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wind 2017 Nintendo Switch presentation trailer. This was the music program's last performance of the school year and it organized a special rose ceremony for the seniors before concluding the show. Seniors Belle Doling Clareton, Vina Durazio, Jason Tyler Fu, Jonah Hacker, Kaylin Jensen, Aiden McDaniel, Luke Mooney, Lily Rodriguez, and Emily Chung were given the opportunity to dedicate their rose to a very special person in their lives. This has been Isabella Bernabio and Julia Delicio for The Sage. Now back to the anchors. Wow, that was definitely an interesting twist on the pop industry. Speaking of industry, our econ class's year-long stock market game is coming to an end soon. Let's hear more about that from Nadia. AP macroeconomics students competed in the year-long stock market game, resulting in Sage Creek earning first place in the San Diego region. AP macroeconomics teacher Clark Avery further describes the game and its importance. The stock market game is an opportunity for kids or students uh, of all ages to learn how to buy, sell, and trade both stocks and bonds um, and using an electronic platform which is, I don't want to say identical, but very similar to what you would do in the real world. We used a lot of the um, information from our stock market game to connect with lessons in economics around present value, supply, demand. Senior Peyton Goddard shares what she has learned from participating. So my stock portfolio for the CFMA game started off pretty strong. Uh, we invested in ExxonMobil and um, JP Morgan. I definitely learned a lot about investment. Actually, in the beginning of the year after we started the game, um, I opened up my own investment account with, the, with one of my banks. Seniors Jackson Kloss and Lucas Braun won the stock market game, ranking first in the region under the team name Morbius Army. Kloss and Braun elaborate on their victory. Uh, it felt great uh, for like eight seconds, and but you know, some of the put on the resume. I like getting the medals. Yes, I like getting the medals as well, and we got a hat. I would say it's never too early to invest, and in that uh, a great strategy is just uh, either uh, dollar cost averaging, or you can also just invest in indexes. This has been Nadi Razak reporting for The Sage, sending it back. Hey Levi, did you know that May is actually Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month? Yeah, I've heard of it. But to be honest, Jack, I don't know that much about it. Oh, well, that's okay because you can learn a bit more about it in this next upcoming package from Angela and Sam. In 1992, President George H.W. Bush designated May as National Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Month, also known as AAPI Month. Here are Sage Creek students Chloe Liu and AJ with more information about AAPI Month. My name is Chloe Liu, and I'm the co-president of Asian Student Union. 
My name is AJ, I'm a junior at Sage Creek High School and I'm half Indian, half white. AAPI month is in May because it marks the first time that Japanese immigrants were able to come to America and then also celebrates the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad by Chinese immigrants. Even though Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders' contributions to our country have been immeasurable, they still face discrimination, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. Taking the time to learn about our citizens' cultures and heritages is necessary to end discrimination. What are ways that we can celebrate other people's cultures? Well, we can try to do research about other people, um, other people's cultures and see what they're all about. And then if we have any friends of those cultures, we can talk to them and say, hey, I want to know more about your culture. Tell me more about it. So during API month, one thing that I've noticed throughout the years is that when companies or advertisements promote API month, it's usually centered around East Asians rather than other parts of Asia, which I think is equally as important to celebrate all the diversity that Asia has. I think there's so many Asian cultures, so many little individual Asian cultures that it's so diverse that it's hard to represent each and every single culture. Asian American culture shouldn't just be celebrated just in one month, it should be continued to be celebrated like throughout the year. We hope you have a great day Bobcats. This was Sam Carroll and Angela Juan sending it back to the anchors. School is almost over and seniors are gearing up for the end of year events. Now one of the most exciting upcoming events is the senior trip. Let's send it back to myself, Isaac, and Caleb with the package covering the event. All right, I'm here with the senior class president, Nick Sepek, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, the upcoming Sage Creek Senior Night. So, Nick, when is it? Yeah, so our grad night is Wednesday, June 7th. It'll be at um, California Adventure in Disney. There will be also be a private uh, grad night party for those that are attending. But in order to make it on the trip, you want to be here at 9 a.m. on Wednesday in the morning, okay? Because buses are going to take off at 9.30. You're going to have to go through a security process. So you want to be there at 9 a.m. Wednesday. Now, that's right after our senior sunset, which is on the uh, June 6th. And then we have our graduation, which is on the 9th. So it's right in between. It's going to be a lot of fun. We look forward for everyone coming out there. <clears throat> Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Levi. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Palmer Benson, a senior in ASB. And Palmer, what are you looking forward to in the upcoming uh, grad night? You know, I'm really looking forward to be at Disneyland really late at night. I've never been there that late. And, you know, I'm just excited to check it out. It'll be fun. Yeah, I agree. I think it'll be really fun. I can't wait to see you there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Wow, Levi, that was amazing. There's only a few weeks left in the year, Bobcats. And even less if you're a senior. Let's finish it off strong. This has been Jack Darnley and Levi Underwood reporting for The, the Sage. Sage.